Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn signs of trigonometric functions in different quadrants. You please do not worry by seeing all these diagrams and all this information. Actually, this is very easy. To understand you easily, I written all the information here. How patience, watch this video till the end. You can understand all these things very easily. Signs of trigonometric functions in different quadrants. We know that in first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. Why? Why? This video is all about why in first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. In second quadrant, sine function, cosecant function are positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. Why? Why? Yes, that question answer will be cleared at the end of this video. Okay. Now, you see this first diagram. In previous class, we learned definitions of trigonometric functions. This is the initial ray OA. You rotate OA through an angle theta. You observe here, this point P is in which quadrant? Point P is in first quadrant, right? Point P is in first quadrant. We know that in first quadrant, X coordinate is positive, Y coordinate is also positive, correct? And these are the definitions of trigonometric functions and theta is any angle for any angle theta. In first quadrant, X is positive, Y is positive. And we know that in a circle, radius is always positive. Can you draw a circle whose radius is negative? No, we cannot draw. In a circle, radius is always positive. In all the four diagrams, radius is always positive. Now, we will see in first quadrant why all trigonometric functions are positive. You see here, sin theta is defined as y by r. r is clearly positive? Yes. What about y in first quadrant? y is positive. Positive divided by positive is what? Is positive. So, sin function is positive in first quadrant. What about cos function in first quadrant? In first quadrant, x is positive. R is always positive. Positive divided by positive? Positive. Tan theta. In first quadrant, here theta is in first quadrant. Please try to understand. That is important. We rotated this initial ray through an angle theta such that this point P is in first quadrant. Now, y is positive. X is positive. Positive divided by positive? Positive. In first quadrant, x is positive. Y is positive. So final answer is positive. Okay. Here in uh, first quadrant, R is always positive. Y is positive. Positive divided by positive? Positive. R is positive. X is positive. Positive divided by positive? Positive. That's why in first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. In first quadrant, all all trigonometric functions are positive. In first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. Now, come to the second quadrant. You see, this is the initial ray. This is the initial ray OA. OA is rotated through an angle theta such that that point P is in the second quadrant. Point P is in the second quadrant. We know that in second quadrant, X coordinate is negative, Y coordinate is positive. Because second quadrant is formed with the negative x axis, positive y axis, right? x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is positive. Now we will see what trigonometric functions are positive in second quadrant. See here, uh, what about y in second quadrant? In second quadrant, y is positive, positive divided by r is always positive, positive divided by positive is positive. That's why. Uh, in second quadrant, sin theta is positive. Cos theta, cos theta is defined as x by r. What is x in second quadrant? x coordinate is negative. So this is negative. Negative divided by positive. Please observe this. Numerator is negative. Denominator is positive. What you will say about total expression? Total expression will be negative. Okay. Tan theta, tan theta is y by x. In second quadrant, y is positive, x is negative. So, total expression will be negative. 
Similarly, here x is negative, y is positive. Total expression is negative. In the second quadrant, r is always positive. What about y in second quadrant? In second quadrant, y is positive. Positive divided by positive? Positive. So here, secant theta, r is clearly positive. In second quadrant, x is negative. Positive divided by negative is negative. So you observe here, sin theta is positive and cosec theta is positive. In second quadrant, sin theta, cosecant theta are positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. So in second quadrant, what trigonometric functions are positive? Sin theta is positive and cosec theta is positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. I hope you are understanding why in second quadrant sin theta is positive, cosecant theta is positive. Similarly, you come to the third quadrant. See, this is third quadrant. In third quadrant, we know that x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is also negative. Now, we will see here, sin theta in third quadrant. In third quadrant, y is negative. Negative divided by positive is what is negative. Similarly, x is negative, r is positive. Negative divided by positive, negative. You see, this is interesting one. y by x, tan theta is defined as y by x. y is negative divided by negative. Negative divided by negative is what? Positive. You try to understand here. Tan is positive in third quadrant. What about cot? In third quadrant, x is negative, y is negative. X negative divided by negative will be the positive expression. So, in third quadrant, tan, cot are positive. You see about cosecant uh, r is positive, y is negative. Positive divided by negative, negative. Here, r is positive, x is negative. Positive divided by negative, negative. You can understand that in third quadrant, tan theta, cot theta are positive. You can observe remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. So, in third quadrant, what are positive? Tan theta is positive, cot theta is positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. Now, you come to the fourth quadrant. How we got here? Actually, initial ray is OA. This OA is rotated through an angle such that the point P is in the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, X is positive because fourth quadrant is formed with positive X axis and negative Y axis. X coordinate is positive, Y coordinate is negative. In fourth quadrant, X coordinate is positive, Y coordinate is negative. Now, we will see signs of trigonometric functions in fourth quadrant. Sin theta is y by r. What is y coordinate in fourth quadrant? y coordinate is negative. Negative divided by positive, negative. You see this one, cos. x is positive. You see here, in fourth quadrant, x is positive. Positive divided by positive, positive. Tan theta, y by x. y is negative in fourth quadrant, x is positive. Negative divided by positive, negative cot theta, x is positive, y is negative, positive divided by negative, negative, cosecant theta, r by y, r is positive, y is negative in fourth quadrant, so uh, negative, positive divided by negative is negative, that equal to, uh, here secant theta, r is positive, x is positive, positive by positive, positive, you can observe here, cos theta, secant theta are positive in fourth quadrant. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. So in fourth quadrant, what are positive? In fourth quadrant, cos theta is positive and secant theta is positive and remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, Subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.